Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Frambo. So in the last episode, we started searching around this weird house and found out that these weird Siamese twin girls who were four Siamese twins due to weird magic uh, did bad things and were going to use us for pretty much a sacrifice and we don't like that, so we're not doing that. We're going to do our own thing because we independent women who don't need no twins. Exactly. Also, I'm joined today by my good friend Cassie. I am not his good friend, he is lying. I am his owner. What? I own you. You do stuff for me. I do stuff for everyone. Don't be weird. Yeah, but mainly me. Okay, what do I have that would make sense? Uh... Hair. What did that one wall say outside? outside it wasn't in the dark world in the house it is so much faster to travel like that what <laughs> except for when that happens <laughs> because my mouse has a bad habit of like triple clicking so that happens All right. doubters need the truth on paper I don't have paper though Look in your inventory. Oh. I have these, yeah. Now, what do you think you need to do to get the girls to give you their hair? Type it on paper. What kind of paper? There we go. There go. Usually that takes everyone forever because they don't even notice the typewriter. Hair from your head. That's not even close to the right thing. These girls are yeah, stupid. How do you know they're gonna buy it? Hmm? Because if it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Where are the girls? Oh. Fran, you're the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need one more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. I think you need help getting rid of this. Oh, that's your character. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. How? By the way, that was the head of the virgin. They're not going to sacrifice the person who's doing the ritual. Yeah, but the person doing the ritual died last time, so... Boiling water in the pot now. Uh, what else was on the thing? Salt and pepper and the blood. Why is there salt and pepper? Fuck you, that's why. <sighs> that everything. Nothing else you have goes in it yet. Their hair is gonna go in it. Okay. Use it with the twins. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourselves. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now we get. Now get prepared. Four strands. Just four. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. Um. Hair. Check the recipe real quick. Okay, so we put in the blood, we put in the moonlit rose, we put in the salt and pepper, and the hair, so now you just have to do the ashes and the candles. And where do I have to do it? On the black and white square, so where do you think it? Wait, it says that? Mm-hmm. Uh, ashes inside the black and white square. Okay. I guess I missed that last time. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. I could not do that. 
in these situations, I would die. Good job, Fran. There we go. Pretty fire, candles lit. So you're done now. You can go tell the girls you're ready. I should show the girls that the potion's ready. I love how your knife's bloody now in your inventory because you cut yourself with it. Is there any other way to do that? I don't think so. I don't know all the achievements you can get. I only know a few. Everything's ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Remember that if you can cut something, you can also usually burn it. And if you burn it, typically that results in an achievement. Yeah, but burning something wouldn't get me any blood. Yeah, I know, but not, I didn't mean your hand. I mean in other future situations. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Wait. Bonte ir kan o mir Do you mind screenshotting this so that I don't have to remember just in case something weird happens? Sure. Bonte ir er kan o ir begma o ibir nam ibir. This is gibberish. Do you got it? Mm hmm. Cool. I'm sure you didn't even screenshot it in that because we don't need to or something, but. I did. And now I'll say the words. Bonte er kan al big er mer. Oh, ibir nam ibir erg bonte er erkran. Begma hofme mon mine kovmia ibe ik ito irmene. Bomeg Ibrahim Isne. Wait a second, that's not the right spell. It, but I actually did. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not the right spell. You tricked us. Food you! Oh my, hi, Leviathan. <laughs> you got the key. Bye, Leviathan. What have I done? Oh my god. Oh my goodness, this isn't right. Key. Now I can set my fury, my dear kitty. That doesn't look like the right kind of key, but okay. But now I have to get my kitty back. Well, if it's not the key for the cage, what key could it be? The mirror upstairs that looks like the exact same material. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going straight to that. Wait, actually, I should try to see that. I should prove that it's not the right key. Right. There's nothing bad can happen when I do this. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yeah, I saw one. I see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> I knew it that was too. I just <sighs> I didn't want to see. Well, of course it. you knew that. Of course I knew that. The key was for this keyhole. What's this? A puzzle? Yeah, you Mirror. can do a puzzle now, bitch. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. You gotta match the gears up to the uh, mechanical thing. It rotates. Maybe some sort of engine. Yeah. You have to How move the I... blocks individually, though. What blocks? No, the blocks? Oh, oh, okay. So it's a sliding block puzzle. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And you have to get all the gears to that one. Move up! I just hate this puzzle in particular because it doesn't want to move when it should. Like this right here. I just sit there clicking for a while. Wait, I did that wrong. There we go. It's because that's the one that had to be doing that. Oh, oh, I mean, good job. Ooh. Yeah. 
It took me a minute because I didn't even see that one up there at first. Skeletons in your mirror? What is this? Two skeletons? They're kind of small, like me. I can imagine who these two were. Then I'm not a killer. Sure you're not. Sister Promise. We, Clara, and Mia Bohemet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. More duotine. My pills are called duotine, too. That's the but original those... version of duotine, remember? The red yeah, one that you're taking is the fake version. Yep. Oh, two hit adult. Must be a really old doll that has the twins. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted. Um, that's what I wondered if you noticed right above the door when I you did. were coming into this area. It was the sun, Gemini sun. Yeah, I noticed that, but I didn't know what I was looking at at first, and I actually had to sit there and think about it after you mentioned it after we finished recording. That's a blue rosette. I like it very much. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage. Finally, pearls. I guess from a broken necklace. Mother must die. Ew. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. My mom is very good. She hugged me many times. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they're two different persons after all. Oh, the bed and floor looks so familiar. Pink rosette. Pretty hair decoration. So, Itwin was the guy's name who... Itward. Itward. Well, Itward has a good sense of humor and locked those two people together so they would be forced to work together. Sadly, they were still messed up and did a bad thing. I think this is the key. Also, you should go look at that cage again. The little baby cage thing. Carriage, yeah. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. No! Oh. So cute. Sorry. Um... Aw, it'd be cute if she wasn't in the picture. Shut the fuck up! Fred is adorable! Stop judging her! Right, the art style gives me the creeps. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Ah, find Mr. Midnight. Hello, Dolly. Oh, sleepy Dolly, would you sing for me? Ah, oh, you don't want to? Huh. Well, that's okay. I can sing for myself. We need to go home, Kitty. I hope the way back isn't very far. I hope so too, friend. We can do this together. I hope. Okay. Wait. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. Ah, oh, whatever. Hop out here. And let's see how the toad's doing. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. This is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. All the bitches and hoes. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I can't swim and Mr. Midnight is so afraid of water. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. No. Let's draw on him. What do you have that makes things bigger? This makes no sense, by the way. Take this, Toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun! But you're all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right! It may work! Here it goes! What? <laughs> I told you, it makes no sense! It worked! It really did! I'm so big and I feel gorgeous! Great, let's go! Come, Mr. Midnight! Run. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. 
What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much that while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise. I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Yep. And this book was with it, too. Leon? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever, but the book's not mine. Ah, oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Well, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yeah, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Gabe, guess what minigame we get to play now? Ugh. Frogger? Don't die. Can you do, do bad things happen if you die, or? No, you can die. I'm just saying don't die. But yeah, it's Frogger. Crap, I made a mistake. I mean, you could have gotten to the end if you'd clicked fast enough. Really? Not gonna come? You gotta do it that way, like... Gabriel, what are you doing? He's moving all he wants. I'm used to Frogger being, you know, more sedimentary. You gotta Why just, like, just... go as fast as you can across for this one. I cannot. There we there go. There you go. I don't- I don't really know the pattern of this one. Cross my fingers that something comes. There we go. Too easy for me. This is weird. I have never- Frogger is not like this. What is it doing? Get to the end, and something will pop up here. There we go. Good job, you got to Toad on board. You can skip like all the mini games, but I think you get to achieve that. Yeah, but I like mini games, so why would I? I know. It's part of the game. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Oh wait, you wrote his line for me. Well. Time to go home now. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. <gasps> Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. It is not dawn, Sir Toad. That moon is still pretty up there. Yeah, it'll be at least another two or three hours. I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Licking his butthole. God damn it, Mr. Minute. The first time you get ready, just start licking your butthole. Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. See, she knows those people are dead. Well, yeah, that's because they're skeletons. She seems to recognize skeletons easily. Oh, kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? <laughs> I think I, I would like the same. I, I feel like there should have been something else on that segment, so well. Okay. Let's go. Go! Oh, what are you waiting for? I was waiting for this to go by to see if anything would happen. Sir, are you the insects that get stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair combed. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. 
All right, Katie, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. If a bird comes up and steals Mr. Knight, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> That'd be really great. Wouldn't it? Thrun, wait. Hi, Satan. Bye, Lucy. Oh my, oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. It wasn't a jump. I got you. Ow! Fraud! No! I don't got you. Yeah, <laughs> the sprite of him falling like that was pretty funny. I know, that's great. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, my dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Hi, my little girl. Your heart is pure and your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace. Why won't you just take me out of here? Please! You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You too will soon understand. Grace, no, don't go, please. Please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Why am I naked? <sighs> Um, to click to start over yeah, there. I know. Oh, what happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? Why do you have Mr. Midnight call him Fran? Ah, what an ugly tree. I would scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? Can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree. Oh, don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my dear. You have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, that night, oh, wait, no, there's no error, so I didn't know. I think I remember him from that night, that night Mom and Dad died. No, Katie, that, I was, don't wanna... that was, that was Mr. Midnight talking right there. Oh, then why, why didn't it point at him? It did! Katie, it was pointing no, there at him. No, there was no arrow, I looked all the way along it. There was, you'll see it in editing. I, the, the future game, please, point out the fact that I'm stupid. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it, I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure wh where we are, either. You're in heaven. That's... This This is not a real place. At the bottom of the gorge. Am I gonna die, kitty? Please, tell me. Don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. Uh. Burp. But I feel so weak. What the... Humpka I, wait, can I repeat me guys? Can I repeat these guys? Sure. Humpka eat me malhala. Kolke, kolke eat lurma. Pasku haluni. Igni jorko vanti. Ah, uh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where. 
Could you please tell me where you are, where I am, sir? Hala, koge, hala. Stop it, or I will scratch you. Hala, run ma, igni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hala! Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hala, igni banti! Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. You can please, let's read that down. Where is the purse? I have no idea, but do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. I'll be right back. I'll find it, my dear. I'll be right back. And Gabe, let's just say, welcome to my least favorite part of the game. Oh. Well, these are Fran's stockings. It's, it's a really good part of the game, but it's my least favorite. Because it's well, a lot of puzzles. Because Fran is completely naked. Technically. She's also a tree, though, so go find a purse. But luckily for us, her bark is worse than her bite. Shut the fuck up. And on that Stop note, alright guys, next time on Let's Play Fran Bo. I feel bad for who's ever watching this. <laughs> where we fell down a hole and, well, once again, we're, uh, she's a tree. We're playing a cat. What the hell is this game? I don't know, and Cassie doesn't know either. Definitely not. She hasn't seen this game three or four times, and nope. we are all blind I to this. I definitely haven't seen especially. this game three or four times and only seen this part, like, once. Oh, you're lame. Because I skip it. I skip it at every other Let's Play that I watch, because I don't like this part. I only watched it once to know what happened. And you're fine. Alright, guys. See you guys next time.